Hi there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of April the 1st through to the 7th. I went ahead, shuffle of cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Sag. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Hanged Man, reversed, followed then by Major Arcana, Emperor in the upright. Next, we have Major Arcana, the Tower, reversed. Followed then by, are you kidding me, Major Arcana, Wheel of Fortune, and lastly, Major Arcana, the Devil. Every single one of your cards is Major Arcana. Major turning point for you, Sag, this week. What is going on? You will definitely have to pipe up in the comment section below if this is resonating for you. You even think this is going to resonate for you. Hangman in reverse, you're getting ready to return to action. Um, you're done with something. Hangman in the upright is where we're looking at things from a different perspective. Sometimes it can come up when uh, we're waiting on other people, maybe to get a hold of us, get in touch with us, let us know what's going on, or to follow up on something, waiting on anything from permits to, you know, government red tape. When the card is inverted, this is where we are done with the suspension. We do not need to look at anything else from a different perspective. We are ready to put our plans into action. Now, the first card you have coming into the week is the um, Emperor, Mars World Energy. It's uh, associated with the sign of Aries as well as Scorpio. Could be mean something to some Sages. Maybe some of you have placements in Scorpio. A lot of Sages do, so the Emperor in the upright position. This points to power and authority and um, strictness for some reason. I don't know, maybe you're dealing with a very, very strict person. This could be like a paternal, this could represent a parent or grandparent or somebody. And they could be, for some of you, perhaps being really strict. They could be really controlling. This could be a, a boss, a spouse, a, you know, somebody in the neighborhood, could be anybody really. This is just a general read. So, The Emperor in the Upright is about control. If it's not about control, it could be that this is a powerful person perhaps that you need to speak to. This could be representing anything from a government official to um, <clears throat> a CEO of a company. This is a really powerful person. When they come up in the upright position, they can usually be reasoned with. If you need assistance or help, sometimes you need to go to the top of the ladder. And that's where you'll find the emperor and the empress are the people in charge. Like he's the man, right? He's the person in charge. So when they come up here in the upright position, this could represent that you need to go to an authority figure. See, this here makes sense to me. The hanged man reverse. A hangman in the upright, maybe some of you are waiting and waiting and waiting for some kind of permit or something like that, and you keep going through channels. But maybe the reason that you don't have to wait anymore is because you went to the, to, you know, the old, let me speak to your boss, let me speak to your superior, maybe you're speaking to the superior here, and uh, you're finally getting some results. The tower is here in reverse, indicating something has been um, avoid it. It looks like there could have been a disaster. Maybe this was happening in your workplace, in your neighborhood, in your home, in your family, anywhere it could have been happening. You were headed for a disaster or somebody else was headed for a disaster. You said enough of this. You decided to go and talk to this powerful person. And because you did, it averts the disaster. So this could be, you know, like something happening. I always use the example like, uh, your your vehicle, say, for example, you're going on a road trip. You decide to take it in and uh, get it checked. And the mechanic says to you, it's a good thing you brought it in because you would have had a big problem if you took this on a long trip. Something would have happened. That's the, the, the energy of the tower in reverse. This is avoiding what could have been a disastrous situation. This is the threat passes you by. And I do strongly feel because of someone in a position of power was able to aid and help you right in the nick of time. And then because of that experience, you move on to the wheel of fortune in the upright position, being in the right place at the right time. This is where um, 
There's no resistance here. You are moving with the energies of the universe and everything is just sort of clicking and flowing. Now, we always have to follow the thread when it comes to the Wheel of Fortune. People sometimes just think you're going to ride on that wheel and that, that ride's going to last forever. Remember, the wheel's constantly turning. So you've got to grab your moment and then follow the thread. And then that could lead you to a better uh, job, a better life in general. So... When the Wheel of Fortune comes, pay attention. You could walk into a store, you could win a few dollars in a lottery ticket by buying that, you know, maybe you weren't even going into the store to buy a lottery ticket. You were there, you just got the the feeling or somebody in front of you got a lottery. Oh, I should get a ticket. And you get it and you win some, some money. It could be that um, you win a contest. You call into a radio show or something and you end up winning a contest. It could be anything like that. You look on the internet, you find your dream job. could be a chance meeting with somebody. Anything can happen by chance. So last card you have, Major Arcana again, the devil in the upright position. Uh, what is going on here, Sag? Are you dealing with the devil you know or the devil you don't? <laughs> This simply can represent um, perhaps, see the Wheel of Fortune is here. Maybe you end up in a really lucky situation, but then the temptation could just be too great for you. This is a card that represents extreme uh, temptation, but it's also the card that represents fear, allowing fear to hold you back from accepting new opportunities. Maybe this Wheel of Fortune brings you a new opportunity and maybe you're a little bit of afraid of stepping into it and stepping into that role. And you could be allowing that obsessive fear to hold you back. Sometimes it can represent uh, just, you know, falling into old patterns again, old habits, addictions, um, that kind of stuff. So be careful with that energy at the end of the week. But other than that, it looks like it's it's definitely a powerful, powerful week for you, Sagittarius. So I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below if this resonates. Uh, yes or no, let me know. Tell me what's going on. Inquiry minds want to know. <laughs> so that's what I have for you. I hope you have a fantastic week. Thanks so much for joining me. I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.